Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Watts Workout Wednesday weekly workout. Here is the video explanation for our early bird circuit that I um, posted on my uh, video, well, Instagram channel, uh, Elite Core Club. Feel free to follow that and check it out. So I want to explain a little bit because it might be a bit confusing for you guys. So the intention with this workout was obviously to incorporate some cardio this week as well as strengthen the upper body muscles. So I like to combine those and just kind of get it all out of the way for the week and uh, see what you guys think. So what you're going to do is two laps around any kind of small-ish distance. Like for me, I would do a lap around my block twice. That's maybe a quarter mile in total. So it should be a pretty good solid get your heart rate up kind of cardio distance, maybe half a mile at the most. Um, for me, like I said, two laps around the block or maybe down the street and back twice, whatever you want to do. But that's going to be your baseline cardio. And you're going to do that between the four sets of each of those exercises that I've assigned. So for example, the tricep push-ups, you're going to do four sets of 12 of those after you do your two laps. And then once you've done those push-ups, do two more laps. And then you have the um, side plank twists and so on and so forth. Always breaking up the four sets, each four sets. So this chunk of four sets, two laps, four sets, two laps. There you go. <laughs> it's been a long day already. Oh my goodness. So what I want to see for the tricep push-ups is nice narrow grip. So you're right under your shoulders like so. And then if we can, we're on the toes, shaving our sides as we come down in the push-up and then squeeze up. Okay, if we can't do this, drop to your knees. We're down and we're up, down and we're up. If you want to, we can also try it at an incline. So we'd be here on a bench, again, keeping yourself nice and stable, shaving your arms along your sides, working the form this way. Okay, that's fine by me. And then you'll do your two laps, and then you've got your side plank twists. So we're on our elbow, stacking that right under our shoulders. And then we're going to bring our feet stacked on top of the other or one in front of the other, whatever is easier for you. And we're gonna twist an arm underneath and up, underneath and up. And I do want 12 and 12. Modify on the knees if you have to. Same thing, totally fine, 12. And then other side here. 12. All right, four sets of those, so 48 total, and then two more laps. Then you've got your dips. So these ones are a little tricky, but you can make them as easy or as hard as you need to. So for me, I'm going to have myself on my bench like so, and now the bent legs is easier, straight legs is harder. I'll show you both. So the idea here, hopefully you can see from the angle, is you're driving your back close to the bench as possible while keeping your elbows in, okay? Going as low as your shoulder mobility will allow. Do make sure that you're warmed up for these, okay? So don't go too low if it hurts. Just gonna work on the range of motion going down. Straighten the legs, makes it even harder, which is fine. Just do what you can. And of course, if you have the equipment, you can do a full on dip. That's fine by me too. I don't have that here, so can't show you, but you know what to do. Okay, then two more laps, lots of cardio. Then you've got our sit outs. So these are a little different, these might be new. So we've got our hands and the balls of our feet, knees are off the ground. And then you're gonna take one arm, bring it up as the opposite leg comes through and bring this foot up to the floor. Ideally, you're trying to balance on the opposite leg and hand. So we're here and then back to center and then other side through. Working this nice hip switch, twist move, if you are a martial artist, this might seem familiar to you. It is sort of a martial arts hip switch, if you will. And you're going to do 12 each side of those. Super fun. Love those. Then two more laps. You got regular push-ups. So same idea as the tricep ones, but your hands might be a little farther apart. Just in a comfortable position for you, whatever your body likes best. Same idea. Nice, difficult version on the toes. Modify on the knees if you have to, or work the incline. And then you've got this. Either way, those elbows are coming out more at 45 degree angles. 
and should feel a little more comfortable for you. So, total of those four times, and then two more laps. And the last one is our plank around the worlds. So, for these ones, we're in a plank. Now, I have my feet wider to help stabilize my spine. And then what you're gonna do is raise one hand, then one hand, then leg, and leg. That's one, and I want six in each direction. So this is counterclockwise, and then you do six in the clockwise direction, okay? Can modify on the knees, totally fine as well. Or to make it more challenging, drop down to your elbows and then raise that way. All right, either way, six each direction. And then if you wanna do one more set of two laps afterwards for good measure, by all means, go for it. Otherwise, that's the circuit today. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, let me know what you think, and uh, apologies for this video being a bit crazy. My brain's a little fried. Is it Friday yet?